Today we're going to be installing the crankshaft inside the crankcase. Here's the two case halves. I'm going to load the bearings into these and drop our crank inside. Loading bearings in your case is just the same as doing all your rods. You make sure you lube them up properly and make get all your tangs in the right place. Now on these motors, these are the older generation of the EJ motors. So this is an EJ22T. The thrust bearing's in the center. I have all my bearings installed, so now I need to put my new seals in and drop my crank in. Since we cleaned up all these surfaces, you got a water passage right here. We have three oil seal passageways that needs O-rings too. I'm going to drop my crank in this side so I can put all my gasket maker on this side and I can flip it over on top. I put a little extra oil on the crankshaft and I have to go back and make sure I clean off all these little spots like right down there because there's going to be a gasket maker on these areas and I, don't want, I want to make sure there's no oil left on there. I'm going to use ultra gray sealant for my gaskets. You want to make sure you get gasket sealer around all the little bolt holes. Every single one of them has to have gasket sealer around it. But you need to make sure you stay clear of all your passageways for your oil. So I have to go back and make sure these, the front and back ones are the hardest because they're so close to your bolts. Now I can flip my case over on top of the other side. I'm using all my old case bolts. So I gotta, you gotta make sure you replace all these washers. These ones look pretty terrible. So there's the part number if you're interested. And I'm just doing this to draw the two case halves together. I'm not torquing them down yet. I'm going to go around for the outside case bolts in. I've seen some other guys do this where they put a little ultra gray on the threads of the cases because they said they've seen them leak.
And one more little guy. This one goes back where the water passage was. So I'm gonna snug these all up and I'm gonna start from the inside out. I'm gonna to torque these two down to 37 foot pounds, flip the case over, and then I'm gonna continue putting the other case bolts in. Now I can flip it back over to get the last two on the front. Now I'm going to torque all the outside ones to 20. Make sure you go back and you clean up all these surfaces when the gasket maker is still wet. This will be a lot harder to clean off after it's dried. inside here too where your main seal goes. That's the case put back together. Next time we'll be installing the pistons so stay tuned.